one of Europe's most movement-stopped up urban communities and home to a large number of old open-air landmarks undermined by contamination, plans to prohibit diesel autos from the downtown area by 2024. Leader Virginia Ray reported the choice on her Facebook page on Tuesday, saying, On the off chance that we need to intercede genuinely, we need to have the metal to receive solid measures. Her remarks took after a court deciding in Germany that urban communities there can boycott the most vigorously dirtying diesel autos from their roads. Around 66% of the 1.8 million new autos sold in Italy a year ago were diesel, as indicated by industry figures. Rome additionally has no significant enterprises, so almost the majority of the air contamination in the Italian capital is caused by engine vehicles. It's not the first run through the antiquated city has endeavored to restrict contamination by constraining autos. The city consistently tries to boycott more seasoned, all the more dirtying vehicles from streets on days when contamination achieves basic levels. It has likewise attempted to diminish contamination by permitting just autos whose number plates send them either odd or even numbers to circle on exchange days. Be that as it may, the two directions are generally ridiculed and daintily upheld by movement police. To skirt the other day's control, numerous families purchase an utilized auto with an alternate number plate. Aside from medical problems, contamination from ignition motors makes serious harm Rome's numerous antiquated open-air landmarks. As indicated by an investigation a year ago by a branch of the Way of Life Service, 3,600 stone landmarks and 60 bronze modules hazard genuine disintegration in light of air contamination. In front of festivities denoting the beginning of the new thousand years in 2000, the obscured exterior of St. Dwindle's Basilica at the Vatican was cleaned as a component of an undertaking that kept going quite a long while. Be that as it may, crisp indications of contamination-related stains are unmistakable once more. Under the watchful eye of the German court's decision on Tuesday, authorities in exceedingly industrialized Milan, in northern Italy, had effectively reported plans to make the city diesel-free by 2030.